When you look at December, our jet stream was really misbehaving, arcing well into northern Canada. Now, it's abnormally straight. In fact, we can trace that jet stream entirely around the planet, over 30,000 kilometers of continuous jet stream. Goodness, that's pretty unusual. That's 54,000 CN towers long. So that is a mighty long jet stream. And most of the countries is flooded with Pacific air. It's a benign weather pattern, except in the unfortunate scenario, you're on the end, the receiving end of all that energy. Yeah, we're expecting gusty winds and rain across British Columbia Thursday and Friday. But Kevin, talk to us more about the scoop in California. Yeah, California is the first land that jet stream interacts with. And there's a couple mountain chains that really soak up the moisture. And look at the entire southwest area has seen more than 500 percent of their normal precipitation over the last uh, let's say 10 15 days and it's not done yet this is what's coming up over the next 10 days you see the conveyor belt that jet streams bringing in just system after system a few areas of interest the farmland in the interior around 100 millimeters we're going to be measuring the snow in meters once again we could be looking at half a meter of rainfall along the coast and this is going to fill up the reservoirs this is what some of the reservoirs look like in the spring and then that high water demand can drain them by the time the fall comes around